All right guys, welcome to the channel. Today is going to be a very raw video. I'm basically gonna show you kind of how I look and review topics that's been a while since I've last seen them, kind of go through my system, a little bit of background. So tomorrow I'm officially restarting on cardiology IC rotation as a medical resident. So it's been about a few months since I've done it. I'm taking care of very sick cardiology patients. So I know there's topics I just don't wanna go into first day not feel very comfortable with. So today what I'm gonna do is essentially show you my process of how I quickly review them in a very efficient manner. Also wanna show you kind of what resources that I use and hopefully that gives you some ideas in case you're trying to review something that maybe you've learned in the past or trying to study for a test um, from material that you've learned a few weeks ago. Before we get started, make sure don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Go ahead and show your support to the channel, the community, and the video. If you want more content like this, just let me know in the comment section down below. And I also wanna give you guys an inside look at my screen, so let's get started. So to begin with, you know, as we're looking into some of the topics, essentially the first thing that I do is I create a list of anything I feel uncomfortable with, regardless of how silly or complicated it is. So, you know, I've already dealt with a lot of patients with heart attacks or suspected heart attacks. I just really want to refresh myself really quickly on the algorithm so I know on an IC rotation when somebody's going to have chest pain, make sure I know all of the things to do, not just the things that are very basic. Um, things of medications. I also added things to my list such as small medications that I may have experienced using or you know interventions like a balloon pump. You know I already know one of my patients uh, for this weekend is probably going to be on one by the time I go in and start taking care of them. So this is just again a very rough list of things I want to review. Again some of this is going to be things that I'm already comfortable with and they're just going to be okay I got it cool move on. Other things I'm like well I have no idea. Uh, but the goal is for this to be efficient, as the title of the video will indicate. So a few things I'm going to do is I already have my list. And so this is something that I've been creating maybe throughout the day or the day before. Um, and this is kind of what I call my list of unknown or uncomfortable. Um, the next thing I do is I have a timer. So I use a tomato timer, like a Pomodoro timer. And the reason I use a timer specifically is because I know a lot of you guys may have this issue too, is once you get into a topic, you may start reading topic over topic and you know a lot about the first thing on your list, but you may never get to the very end. And so this just keeps me on kind of point to make sure that I'm moving forward and not spend too much time on one topic. If something is really dedicating my time, then maybe I need to make it a big topic of review for a specific day versus like a quick review session like this. Um, and the next thing I do is I just pick like two to three resources that I want to use to be able to review. So up to date is a huge one for me when I'm reviewing something I know you can find another resource um, that you prefer. I also like WikiJournal. Um, it's, it's a great resource, especially for cardiology, where there's a lot of data specifically between medications and things. Um, you know, I love the New England Journal of Medicine, um, and so I always have it just in case I want to see if there's an article written about a topic I'm looking. And then when it comes to things like EKGs, Life in the Fast Lane. Um, is something I, I really recommend. In fact, if you guys are interested in seeing what other clinical resources I recommend, you guys can check out one of the videos I made or the episodes in the podcast. I'll link them down below in the description. Um, but let's get started. So the resources are up, our topics are up, and essentially I'm gonna go ahead and get our timer ready. Now the next way is kind of how do I want to take my notes. Now I am a very sparse note taker because I don't want to spend my time wasted on like typing things. And so essentially what I'll do is I'll go ahead and copy this into an app that I like using called um, Notion. So I may have to fix it up, but that's okay. And Notion's a really nice clean interface. I really like the white kind of blank um, environment, but the nice thing is that you can create tables in it, you can create, you know, um, calendars. There's so much more to do, and I'll make a different video as I become a little bit more adept at using it, but it's a nice because you can essentially have kind of notebooks within notebooks. Um, it's a little bit more of an advanced phase to like OneNote if you guys use it. And so I like to use it because I can make a notebook specific for cardiology. And one of the folders I have is lookup topics. And so and this will obviously change over time. But the nice thing that I can do with this is that if I feel like I need to review a topic I've already reviewed in the past, I can just refer to the one folder that I've already taken notes on and try to refresh myself. That way I can make each review process a little bit shorter. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create our folder and we'll just continue to update each topic as possible. So now that we have it in Notion, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of make this quick and expedited. So we'll go ahead and have our tomato timer. We're gonna start. The goal is to try to get a little bit done within 25 minutes. And so the first thing I'm gonna type in is ACS. Um, now I'll do a little bit of overview. There's just some things that I already know I wanna look at. And so I'm just gonna quickly 
identify and kind of skim is my unusual initial plan to try to see what kind of things as I'm reading over do I feel uncomfortable with. Again, if I feel uncomfortable with everything that's an indication this is a bigger topic than just a quick review like this, uh, but I feel pretty comfortable taking care of patients with ACS because I've done it. And so this is going to be an approach for me to just say, okay, know it, know it, know it. Okay, maybe stop right there, put that in your notes. Um, that way you remember it for later. So I'm gonna quickly go through this and we'll fast forward. So as you guys can see, I kind of already started a framework of things that I wanted to remind myself as I was going through the first section of up to date. Um, some of these things, as I was typing them, I could already feel myself saying, you already know this, and so I stopped, um, deleted it, or just quickly moved on. And that's something you guys have to get better at, especially if you feel like you're reviewing for long periods of time, is avoiding spending time on things you already know. So don't spend time writing things, especially when we're working on our computer. Sometimes we say, you know, it won't take me very long to type this, let me just do it. But all those little bits of seconds that you waste add up over the span of an hour or two. Um, so again, I tried to really move on. So I'm already kind of 20 minutes into the section. So I'm already about five minutes into the review. I'm gonna spend about another five minutes on ACS and I'm gonna move on to the next one. All right, so I went ahead and spent about 10 minutes on my ECS section. Now I have to move on. I know there's things I still need to look on, uh, but I just need to kind of get that momentum of moving forward. So next thing I have on my list is to just quickly look up on Capture Pro and kind of seeing the utility of titrating up. And if you guys don't know what that means, don't worry about it. I'm just gonna quickly look up at the doses and kind of what to start at and how quickly to move up on. 
now that I know what the doses are, I'm just going to move on to that topic and have a look for the next thing on my list. This is kind of the process as you guys can see. I'm about 15 minutes into it and I'm essentially kind of moving on as quickly as possible. Um, if there's something, again, I feel uncomfortable in moving forward, part of that is just being in medicine. You kind of learn everything um, and you may have to do a little bit of review. And if there's a situation or some, and if there's a situation of me being a little uncomfortable and moving on, I feel like I still have pressing questions and I can still put those in like italicies in you know, whatever section it is and then refer to them later and then kind of use that as another mini review session. I just want to continue to kind of move the ball you know, I still have nine minutes, so let's see how far I can go. And that guys wraps up my first 25 minutes of doing this and as you can see you know although we weren't able to cover everything um, we're still able to get a lot done and reviewed um, and one of the things i realized is i'm going through my list there's some things that i feel relatively comfortable with and then the first 25 minutes review this is the only one i was able to do all day um, i wanted to go towards the high kind of impact items these are the topics that i feel really uncomfortable with 
um, and other things such as like pulmonary hypertension and rate control, aspirin use, those are things that I feel pretty good about. Maybe I just kind of added them to be complete, um, but it's a good opportunity to check yourself. You know, you don't actually have to go to the list um, in order unless you've made the list in a way where the most uncomfortable item is at the top. So as I realized time was kind of short and I spent a little bit more time on the ACS initially, um, I looked at some of the later ones and realized maybe I don't really need as much time here and kind of moved on to something a little bit more high yield, like a balloon pump, because I know I'm actively going to be taking care of somebody with that. Um, so this is just kind of a simple approach of how I would do it. Now, obviously, you're going to be able to use this approach and go ahead and branch over the span of maybe two to three kind of 30 minute sessions. So I just wanted to show a quick approach. It's kind of dirty. It's not really clean, but it's simply about getting to work, doing the review. And I already feel more comfortable going into the day tomorrow. You know, I've already looked about how to manage a heart attack, how to manage pressors, how to manage a balloon pump. Those are really high quality content um, that I feel relatively good going into. Um, a rotation of ICU level care. So if you feel like you really just need to get to work, you can try this approach out. Let me know what you guys think. Um, some of you guys obviously may want a little bit more structure and that's completely fine. But if you are interested in learning a more kind of concrete and organized study method, then I'll link it down below, but it's basically a free video course that I'll go step by step over my shoulder in my computer and show you how I studied in medical school to be a little bit efficient. It was kind of a system that I really used to accelerate the process and cut my time in half. So if you guys are interested, you guys can check that out. And if you're somebody on the other end of the spectrum and you feel like you're just a far ways away from the grades you want or the time that you want to be spending studying or the retention that you're getting, and I do recommend that you check out uh, something that we have on mbjourney.com, which is called Level Up Your Study, which is a three week um, study program where the first week I teach you essentially how to identify the weaknesses in your own study system. You know, I'm not about trying to tell you how to study like me because I know all of us are different. Um, but I do think that there are certain principles and systems you can put in any study system to be able to accelerate the process, studying half the time and get better results, um, as well as just taking off some of the junk. So the first week in that program is really designed to help you understand what am I doing wrong, what do I not need to be doing, and what do I need to be doing more of. And the second week is really a lot of the meat and the things that you guys look up on the internet all the time, which is I share you different opportunities, study strategies, techniques, as well as what other students are doing to be able to potentially improve your own system from the first week. And then week three, we kind of put it all together in your own study system. That way you can have something that's perfect for you. That's ideally lessening your time, but improving your grades and your retention. And so if that is something you're interested in, I'll link it down below in the description. But if you feel like studying is not the only kind of barrier you're having in medical school or as a pre-med, then I'll also link down below something that we have that's a little bit more premium that's called the Med Elite Academy, which is basically taking all of our top courses, all of our top resources and putting it in one place uh, what I like to call a Netflix for med school and trying to basically give you resources in one area that way you can refer to any kind of part of medical school, any obstacles you may have, whether that's clinical rotations, learning how to study, step one setting, all of that just kind of in one place. Um, so definitely check out any of those if they seem interesting, but if they don't, no worries. Um, hopefully you got some value out of this video. If you want more content like this where I'm kind of showing you uh, inner works of my computer and my process, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, make sure before you leave to, if you're watching a video, then go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you're listening to this on a podcast, consider subscribing as well as dropping an honest review in iTunes. Uh, but as always, my friends, thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully I've been a little help to you on your journey. Thanks for being a part of mine. See you later. Peace.